And here we have a pair of lungs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> <laughs> so the lungs here are part of our right lower respiratory system as we move down in um, through the trachea. And on this model, we can still see the larynx is up at the top and where the trachea is going to be attaching to it. Um, and notice it has to cut behind all of those blood vessels that we talked about. So the um, superior vena cava and the aorta and all of its little branches are actually sitting kind of in on top of the trachea. So if we look at our two lungs, what we can notice is that the right lung is a little bit bigger than our left lung, um, mostly because the heart is in the way. The left lung just gives a little bit more room. Yep. So on the right lung, there are going to be three lobes. There is the superior lobe of the right lung, the middle, and then the inferior lobe of the right lung. And on the left lung, there's only two. There's the superior and then the inferior lobe of the left lung. You can also notice pretty well on this model the diaphragm. Okay, so that nice, big, huge sheet muscle that is going to separate the thoracic cavity from our abdominal. So now what we're going to do is is do a little more surgery. Surgery. You got it? Got it. I Pull got it. Pull off the I lungs. I'm going to I'm going to go it. in for the kill. Just and like Indiana Jones in like the Temple of Doom. Just rip the heart right rip out of the, the body. Rip the heart right out. Oh. Um, because right underneath the heart is where we need to be right now. We are looking at the trachea as it is still coming down. Am I pointing at the trachea? You are on that. You have a really funny view, don't you? Yeah, I can't really do see you, do you want folks, me to so point? I'm like random. I can point. I think I'm here. Got it? Okay, yeah, no, that's... this is way more fun. All right, that's going to be the trachea. And the trachea is going to have to diverge into the two lungs. So if we move off to the right or the left, we hit the primary bronchi Let's or... Let's go left. I can see that one. All right, there. you can see that one? That's yeah. going to be the left primary bronchi or what we often call the main bronchi. So they go by two names. Also notice right here is that the left one is skinnier than the right one um, because the right one has to feed, remember, three lobes as where the left one only has to feed two. Now the primary bronchi are going to branch into what we call the lobar bronchi or also called the secondary. Notice there's one for each lobe. So on the left there are two left lobars and on the right there are three. I don't know what I'm pointing. Lobars. I think maybe that's the top one. That's it. Top one. Yep, there you go. Oh, this yeah, is fun. you got it. Uh, so the they're going to continue branching so we have to keep getting smaller and smaller as we move through the lungs. So the low bars will then branch into the tertiary bronchi, also referred to as the segmental. So those are going to branch off inside each lung as they move farther and farther out until we reach the bronchioles and the terminal bronchioles, which quite frankly are not on this model. No. We're just kind of like saying they're in this place, sort of. They are microscopic and yeah. hard to see, which is the same of the alveolar ducts and the alveoli, because the alveoli will be um, those small little sacs at the end that are going to meet up with our capillaries from the lungs, I'm sorry, from the heart, maybe, mm -hmm. to grab some oxygen and drop off their carbon dioxide. Right, now we are going to turn to Floyd. Floyd. All right, I'm just gonna lift the camera, guys. Gonna get a little shaky. All right, so if we look at Floyd, the reason we're looking at him is because you can still see all of the bronchi and the heart and the you know arteries and veins, etc. But you can also see his ribs. And right between his ribs, as we talked about in 244, you're going to find the intercostal muscles. There are internal intercostals as well as external. They're kind of hard to differentiate on the model and in a human or in a cow or pig as you're eating its ribs. Mm, barbecue <laughs> sauce. You can also see on this model, just really, I'm going to come all the way down here to the corner. You can see there are two layers of tissue that are around them. There are the parietal and then the visceral. Parietal is going to be touching the lung and visceral will be touching the rib cage. All right, and I think. Those are the pleura, right? Pleura. Pleura. Yes. Parietal and visceral pleura. Parietal, pleura. I'm done. Good. All right.